Hi. Now let's observe this. How to work with global send keys option by using Notepad example. Okay, we want to first launch our Notepad. Let me close this one. Come to Blue Prism. Let me create new object here. Global send keys. Now we need to work with application notepad. This is a Windows based application, right? Go to application modular and then it should be Windows based application. My application should be executable file and then your notepad will be available in C windows notepad right this is your where your application is available see windows notepad dot exe now click on next remaining everything will be next application is created now first thing is what we need to do we need to launch the application first application is launched right now next generally when you are working with this notepad what you are going to do you are going to create elements like file one element and then after that you are going to this particular area one element where you are going to write say one element all the element you are going to create by using the spy option right now let's see without doing all those things how we are going to implement same option by using global send keys now let's click ok now come to the action. Now first step is navigate, right? We need to launch the application first. Global send keys, this is the element, main element name. And then observe this here, two options we have. One is global send keys, another one is global send key events. Always we are going to prefer global send keys when your application is not Citrix based application. If your application is Citrix based or remote applications, then only you are going to use global send keys. Let's say your application is installed in some other machines. Now you are accessing that those machines from your machine. Like, so maybe uh, uh, you can call it as a virtual machines, remote desktop, simple example will be team viewer. If you want to access other system from your machine, you are going to use TeamViewer, right? So these kind of applications, when you are trying to access other systems through your system, then you are going to use global send key events. Otherwise, global send keys. Let it be global send. First, what we need to do? Launch. First, we are launching. Okay, once it is launched, okay, let me check whether it is going to launch or not reset already it has been launched it seems no right okay let's run it's launched right it has been launched okay once it is launched it has to enter some data here it has to enter some data for that what we need to do previously so we are going to create an element for that in win32 right now no need to create an element just use that what you need to do always when you are working with global send keys, always you need to use navigate shape only. Always you are going to use navigate shape, remember this. And always you are going to use main element. These are the two things we need to remember. Always navigate shape, always main element. Now, global send keys, what you want to do here? We want to write something. Hello, observe this. Hello world. Okay. Now click OK. Now let me close this one and then try to run it from the starting. Now observe this. Launched. It entered. Right? How it entered? How application will understand where it has to write? When you are spying, then it will understand he in this particular portion I need to write. When you spy this particular area, then it will understand it has to click on that. 
right now without doing that how come it is understanding where the application has to work here when you are working with global sun keys remember where your application is highlighted there your global sun keys option is going to work it means now let's observe this control s i have used where application is highlighted in this area now i have entered something now where its application highlighted in this area right let me close this and now where application is highlighted in the cursor here right when i enter where application is highlighted in the second line right now with this example now we want to use enter button we want to use enter button to enter the in a second line information for that no need to spy again use navigate double click on this main element global sun kiss what you need to do enter button right to enter button what is the option here enter see this flower base enter right same thing like this it should be in double quotes flower base and enter click ok now let's observe this let me close this one now reset and then run see this the cursor came to the second line now second line information we want to write let me close this again what you will do again use navigate use this global sun keys main element second line right right second line second line so just i have given now what it will do it will write it in a second line after that we want to save control s we will use right for that you can use control instead of this everything you can do it in a same same shape right you can add another one see this like this instead of creating multiple stages you can do like this global sun keys what it has to do control s control means cap symbol control means cap somewhere we saw that right yeah cap and s now come to this cap and s this is a control s so any combination of a keys no gap and no no need of flower bases control s it will save after that we need to enter the path right somewhere we need to enter the path there okay let me run till here then you will understand let me run this observe this one second line after that control s here we need to enter the path where you are going to save that file right after that click on enter enter uh, save right save means if you click on enter it will hit on enter automatically it is going to save okay now let me copy some path from desktop let me copy this path copy as a path this path we will go into save okay come to the global sun keys use navigate double click main element and then global sun keys option what you are going to do we need to give the path right we need to give path here when you are giving a path this should be dot txt file right will give sample dot txt you see txt file okay only one double quote okay after the save the enter button right again let's add one more element here bolts and keys we need to enter flower base enter always it should be caps after that terminate terminate click on this done now let's run this see this now 
it's working second line saving path it has given after that it has been terminated let's observe this whether it has been saved with the sample or not see this sample file has been saved in a desktop right this is the easiest way to work with any application but remember application has to support for the global send keys option then only you can able to work with this global send keys always global send keys when you are using navigate shape and main element you have to use and then shortcuts all the keypad activity shortcuts we have to use you can use combination or single key anything is fine thank you